welcome back to my channel. So today is is the day the Christmas decorations are going up. Lila Rose is currently having a little bit of lunch so that we can get started on the Christmas decorations because she's already tried to knock the camera about four times. Rick at the moment is currently, hopefully, doing me a little hot chocolate to get in the festive spirit. Is that what you're doing? Yes. yes, you are. I don't have a Christmas mug, do I? So I'm I'm currently having it in a sloth mug. Oh my god, there is not enough milk in that. Uh, that's what you done. Oh, that was my own fault. So while Lila has her lunch and just finishes it off, she will be helping us a little bit with the Christmas decks, but then she's going down for a nap because I really don't think we're going to be able to get everything done with her around, um, especially because she's obsessed with the camera. So we're going to give this a try. This is the first time of vlogging, like putting our decks up. So I'm just so excited. We're going to have some Christmas music on in the background. I'm going to try and find some really good Christmas music for you guys. Hopefully I can do that and yeah, let's just get started. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family Making angels in the sand, you ready? Doesn't matter if it's Christmas Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good Christmas tree is done and it looks amazing. Now you might be wondering why it looks so tiny and it's because last year it was actually underneath here and we got, what what size tree did we get last year? Was it a five and a half or something? No, a six foot a tree. Six. We bought a six foot tree, put it in there, realized it didn't fit, did it? it was too tall. Yeah, and so we had to get a five and a half and now we've kind of made room over here. It looks really tiny in the space but i think we're just gonna work with it aren't we i think it looks so beautiful this tree topper was from the range last year they might even have it in this year the majority of our baubles are from the range and i just love the whole rustic look we've got a bit of gold in there but like a champagne gold and then the rest of it is just really rusticy. i love it so now we're going on to the mantelpiece now i have got a little autumnal display this year i decided that i'm actually going to make this into a christmas display which i haven't done in the previous years i've just kind of like put lights up but i really want to make this into a proper seasonal fireplace like everyone seems to do so i'm going to use the things that i have got i don't know if i need to add to it and go shopping at all a lot of this was bought last year from the range there's some really really cute little bits and bobs that i've had for ages there's a little penguin that one's from b&m i think that's still in b&m this year and i'm just gonna have a little play around and see what i can do and see if i can make a really nice christmas fireplace display <laughs> I got 
it's later on it's about a couple hours later and it's actually dark outside already um but i'm gonna show you guys what we've done so we've done the rest of the house as well we don't do like crazy amounts over the rest of the house but i will just give you a little tour of what we've done basically lila rose had a good nap she is now awake and trying to terrorize my uh, my little display which isn't very good but that's just what you have to deal with when you've got a toddler so let me turn you around and show you what we've done so of course we've got the tree i think it looks better when it's not in this dark light but as you can see it is dark outside this looks so much cuter in real life and a lot more like a warm and cozy i then going up the stairs just used this garland that i was going to use for the mantelpiece and i just used it going up the stairs mm. instead and we've just got some fake snow which lila rose has already tried to tear down last time i think we had garland going round like that with some lights which is lovely but i just don't have enough so i'm trying to make what i've got stretch of course we've got the mantelpiece so you guys saw me actually like put this one together i've changed it a little bit because i feel like it looks like a bit too much going on especially when i had the happy home sign i think i had there so i've changed it just slightly i've got a reef here that was from the range last year which has lights going through it i got a nativity which i've always wanted a proper nativity but this is the closest i could get for a cheap price i think that one was from either b and or the range i can't really remember got some candles going on as you can tell we have got the stockings up and lila rose is already trying to take them down i'm not sure if i'm going to keep them up for now but this one does need changing as you can tell it's the only red one and it's nelly's so we're going to change that one this year to match the different colors probably match lila roses but as you can tell she's already taken them down i've got a little gonk down here which lila rose hasn't actually noticed yet but it's one of those really cool gonks i got this one last year in the range like i said oh oh now you've noticed it oh brilliant thank you <laughs> and behind i've got some candle uh, a candle and i've got a little like decoration there as well this tree like i said was from the range i've turned the lights on so that's battery operated so i think it's very cozy in here i can't wait to get the fire on and make it look all really really nice and cozy in here it's not it's not the best like i wish i could have the tree a little bit more central to the room but with this house there's just not a lot that you can do with it so yeah let's go and show you upstairs right don't mind the boxes this all has to go up in the loft so it's just waiting here to go back up in the loft but this this is my favorite part oh my god there's me hi i had to take my socks off because they had so much green and red spreading all over the floor so yeah look guys look guys how cute is it i was gonna put tinsel here but it just looked too much and i just really like the how simple rustic it looks so this bedding here i got from the range last year i'm not sure if it's still in but it's one of those a little bit fluffy so it's really warm for winter over here on my side of the bed i've got another little small nativity that was given to me from my grandma a couple years ago i absolutely love this one like i said one day i want to get a proper one like my mum has where you can actually rearrange the little ornaments and stuff and just above that there was something that was given to me as a secret santa i'm actually going to use this this year because i didn't use it last year but it's one of those wax oil burners so i'm gonna put a candle in there and light some christmasy incensey waxy melts obviously over to the left is our beautiful tree and this just camera does not do this justice it's so much cozier in real life it's so beautiful i don't normally do the whole red and gold i don't normally like it but i think because it's a small tree and we've obviously got a little bit of red in the like rustic-y covers i feel like it's just appropriate we had these baubles already so it's just like let's make them work and this got a little gold bow on top i've had this tree since i was like a child so we're just trying to make the most of what we got now rick's side of the bed has pretty much remained the same it hasn't really got a lot going on apart from this little one right here this was from i think from b&m i think i've seen this this year as well from b&m but you can just turn it on and it's a little bit like a slow slow a snow globe okay so the light's being a bit dodgy there you go it looks so cute there's like a little snow globe with a little polar bear in it so he's got that for his side of the bed oh that's rick burning the dinner <laughs> i've just put a little bit of tinsel around the um around the mirror as you can see hi i'm there and then the only the other thing i've got in here is this little tree here which i got ages ago i think from the range for like a couple pound but i was making the most of it so 
it's really minimalistic in here there's not really a lot going on but i just absolutely i just love i think it's the bedding that makes it it's just such a cozy vibe so that brings us to the end of this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed just decorating with us i have asked out on my instagram today if you guys want to see vlogmas and i'm not going to be doing every single day of the month because that is just not even doable with a child not for me anyway but i will be keeping my two videos a week for the whole of december all christmas related all to do with vlogmas lots of different Different activities as much as I can fit in but this is the start of Christmas I'm so excited I can't believe it's already come round to be honest it doesn't feel like it should be Christmas yet I really look forward to seeing you guys join me with vlogmas if you haven't hit that subscribe button already and you'd like to please don't forget to hit before you leave because it really helps to support my channel and I will see you guys in the next video bye